In the dusty streets of Gaza, Caleb Rivers, his eyes narrowed, filmed the devastation of war. Armed with years of experience, the American journalist was looking for more than an ordinary war report. As the sun set and he wandered through the ruins, he overheard a mysterious conversation with a local medic. The subject of the conversation was a rumor circulating among the locals, gruesome allegations that Israeli soldiers were stealing the organs of Palestinian civilians. Caleb decided to investigate. Although his job was simply to document the war, his instincts led him to pursue a deeper story. Later that evening, he spoke to a group of local fighters. They had heard the same rumors, but had no proof. Caleb was determined to gather more information to solve this mystery. Throughout the night, he traveled through the narrow streets of Gaza, observing the pain and destruction left behind by the war. The next day, Caleb traveled to a local hospital. Here he spoke to doctors and nurses who were helping the victims of the war. Their stories aroused Caleb's suspicions. He learned that some patients were missing organs when they came in for treatment. This information raised even more questions in Caleb's mind. Caleb left the hospital to gather more evidence and find out if these terrible allegations were true. At midnight, he secretly met with a group of local residents. They told Caleb that Israeli soldiers were carrying out night raids and that some civilians had disappeared after these raids. Armed with this information, Caleb was ready to embark on a dangerous journey to uncover the truth. But even he could not have foreseen where this journey would lead. It had become not only a journalistic mission, but also a battle for humanity. Caleb spent the night in the quiet streets of Gaza, preparing for his dangerous investigation tomorrow. When Caleb woke up the next morning on the weary streets of Gaza, the determination in his eyes and the notebook in his hand signaled that he was no ordinary journalist. As the sun rose, he reflected on the night's information and decided where to go. His first stop was a neighborhood where disappearances were frequently reported. Here he talked to residents and listened to their stories. Each story fanned the flames of suspicion in Caleb. The residents' stories led Caleb to his next stop, an old warehouse. The warehouse was often visited by Israeli soldiers. As Caleb crept around the warehouse, he observed the tracks and suspicious movements of military vehicles. These observations made him even more suspicious. Caleb decided to enter the warehouse. Once inside, he encountered an unexpected sight, empty crates, medical supplies, and traces of blood. These findings confirmed Caleb's suspicions. However, hard evidence was still lacking. As Caleb walked around the warehouse, he noticed a map hanging on the wall. The map showed different parts of Gaza and the movements of Israeli soldiers. Caleb quickly photographed the map and made notes. This map could be an important clue in finding the missing people. As Caleb left the camp, his eyes kept scanning the area. From that moment on, he knew that every step he took was more dangerous. In the chaos of war, he was fighting alone to uncover the truth. Caleb spent the rest of the day interviewing more locals. Slowly the stories began to come together. In the evening, Caleb attended a secret meeting on the outskirts of Gaza. There he met some Palestinian fighters and relatives of the missing. They told Caleb that they suspected a vast conspiracy behind the disappearances. At the end of the day, as Caleb organized the information he had found, he considered what to do next. That night, in the quiet streets of Gaza, the lonely silhouette of a man searching for the truth shone in the moonlight. Caleb was traveling deep into dark secrets in search of dangerous truths. In the mysterious night atmosphere of Gaza, Caleb was deep in thought. 
The information he was gathering was leading him on an even more dangerous adventure. The next day he got up early and set off for one of the points he had marked on the map. It was an area where Israeli troops were concentrated and frequently raided. Moving stealthily, Caleb used narrow lanes and back roads to avoid military patrols. His goal was to reach an area of high military activity and gather more evidence. The closer he got to his destination, the more tense the situation became. Once in the area, Caleb began to watch carefully. After a while, he saw a military convoy carrying supplies to an old warehouse. This warehouse was different from the one he had observed earlier. Caleb watched the convoy's movements carefully, and during this time he noticed suspicious people moving around the convoy. Taking a risk, he approached the warehouse. Undercover, he photographed soldiers entering and leaving the warehouse and the materials being transported out of it. Among the photographs, he noticed medical supplies and large crates. Curious about what was inside these crates, Caleb took the opportunity to gather more information. Meanwhile, he noticed a group of soldiers entering the warehouse with a sudden movement. The haste of the soldiers and the mysterious crates only increased Caleb's suspicions. Just then, however, he realized that a soldier had spotted him and he had to move quickly. Realizing that a dangerous pursuit had begun, Caleb moved quickly through the alleyways. Having managed to get out of sight of the soldiers, he hid in a secret place to catch his breath. The chase showed him just how dangerous his quest had become. As dusk fell, Caleb sat in a local cafe, organizing his notes and studying the photographs. The photos seemed to confirm his suspicions, but he still needed hard evidence. That night, Caleb pieced together the information he had found and returned to his lodgings to plan his next move. Throughout the night, Caleb kept asking himself one question, how far could he go to solve this mystery? He was determined to delve deeper into the dangerous secrets to find the answer. As Caleb walked through the sleepy streets of Gaza in the early morning light, his plan became clear. His goal was to return to the military depot and discover the contents of the mysterious crates. But this time he had to be more careful. During his journey, Caleb observed how the locals coped with the suffering of war. On every face, on every street corner, there were stories. These observations strengthened Caleb's commitment to his mission. Arriving at the camp, Caleb noticed that the military activity he had observed earlier was continuing. This time he took a risk and hid closer to the camp. He worked with a local boy to distract the soldiers. While the boy distracted the soldiers, Caleb was able to sneak in through the back of the warehouse. Once inside the warehouse, Caleb encountered a horrifying sight. Inside the crates he found human organs. This confirmed all his suspicions. Caleb rushed to photograph the evidence. Just then, a loud noise attracted the attention of the soldiers. Caleb ran out of the warehouse. With his heart pounding, he had only one thought in his mind, to tell the world about this evidence. But the soldiers in pursuit turned that mission into a dangerous chase. As Caleb sprinted through the streets and alleyways, he could feel the soldiers' footsteps behind him. He was out of breath, but he refused to give up. After risking capture several times, he finally reached a crowded marketplace in Gaza City. Here he managed to get lost in the crowds. Hiding in a safe place, Caleb took a deep breath and looked at the photographs in his hand. These photographs showed the dark side of the war. But getting this information out to the world was not easy. Caleb was determined to see this mission through to the end, but he needed more support and a stronger plan. That night, Caleb met with local resistance fighters. He told them of his plans and asked for their support. 
the resistance fighters were impressed by Caleb's courage and decided to help. Together they began to look for ways to share this terrible truth with the world. Caleb realized that this was not just his fight, it was a fight for humanity. After his meeting with the resistance fighters, Caleb walked alone through the darkened streets of Gaza, planning his next move. Eventually he would reach a village on the outskirts of Gaza. This was a place where Caleb could safely broadcast his evidence to the world. Once in the village, he found a place in a secret bunker provided by the resistance. Here he began to organize the photographs and notes and prepare his report. His aim was to get this evidence to the international press and human rights organizations. Once he had completed his preparations, Caleb set up a secure internet connection with the help of the rebels. He uploaded his report and photographs and sent them to the world's media. Meanwhile, an undercover resistance fighter told Caleb that a Hamas agent inside Israel was following the case and wanted to help him. Caleb considered the offer carefully. The help of an agent inside Israel could give the matter greater publicity, but it also involved a great deal of risk. Nevertheless, Caleb decided to take the opportunity. The next day, Caleb traveled safely to a meeting organized by the resistance. At the meeting place he met a Hamas agent inside Israel. The agent told Caleb that the Israeli government was trying to cover up the incident and that he could provide him with inside information. Armed with this new information, Caleb decided to expand his story. The information provided by the Hamas agent added a new dimension to the story. Caleb added this information to his report and sent it to the world's media. Meanwhile, Israeli soldiers, aware of Caleb's presence, intensified their search for him. Caleb was constantly on the move, both to evade the soldiers and to complete his report. Later that night, Caleb traveled in a vehicle provided by the resistance to a safer area outside Gaza. During the journey, however, he was ambushed and abducted by Israeli soldiers. Caleb found himself in a military vehicle being taken to an unknown destination. But his struggle was not over. As Caleb thought about how to get out of this situation and continue telling his story to the world, he was unaware that the resistance was planning to rescue him. This was only the beginning for Caleb. Caleb's mind raced as he drove towards an uncertain future in the hands of Israeli soldiers. He was trapped in a cold, cramped vehicle, but he had not lost hope. He knew instinctively that the resistance would find him and rescue him. And indeed, the resistance had mobilized to rescue Caleb immediately after his abduction. Caleb managed to find a way into the vehicle and escape from his handcuffs. However, he was still in the custody of armed soldiers and his movements were restricted. The military vehicle was heading towards a military base outside Gaza City. Meanwhile, the resistance fires had devised an elaborate plan to rescue Caleb. The plan was to get Caleb out of the military vehicle and carry him to safety. The insurgents lay in wait outside the military base, waiting for the right moment. As Caleb approached the military base, the insurgents put their plan into action. A distant explosion distracted the soldiers, while a group of insurgents quickly approached the vehicle. After a brief firefight, Caleb was rescued by the insurgents and quickly removed from the area. Immediately after his rescue, Caleb was taken to a safe house with the insurgents. There he spoke to the resistance fighters who had rescued him and thanked them. The resistance fighters were impressed by Caleb's courage and determination and decided to continue supporting his efforts to tell his story to the world. After his release, Caleb went back to work to complete his story. He added his new information to his report and sent it to the world's media. 
Caleb's report received widespread international media coverage and led to serious investigations into human rights abuses in Israel. Caleb was now recognized not only as a journalist but also as a human rights defender. But the end of his story was not yet written. Caleb was determined to continue the fight and bring this important issue to the attention of the world. It had become the most important mission of his life. As a new day dawned, Caleb walked the restless streets of Gaza, lost in thought. A few days had passed since his rescue, and his account, widely reported in the international press, had become a global sensation. But for Caleb, the fight was far from over. He realized he was part of a bigger picture, and knew he had to work harder to complete it. In the process, Caleb got back in touch with the undercover Hamas agent. The agent told him that some officials inside Israel had begun to investigate the matter and that Caleb's report had made a big impact. The agent also told Caleb that he would continue to provide him with inside information. With this new information, Caleb decided to update his report and conduct an in-depth investigation. He went deeper into Gaza, interviewing more witnesses and families of the missing. Each story strengthened Caleb's resolve. Meanwhile, Caleb's story was attracting the attention of international human rights organizations and the UN. Caleb worked with these organizations and began to lobby for a wider investigation into the case. In the process, Caleb became recognized as a human rights defender and was invited to many conferences and meetings around the world. As part of this process, Caleb left Gaza and began traveling to raise the issue internationally. Everywhere he went, the interest and support that people showed for this issue made Caleb even stronger. He traveled around the world talking about the issue and trying to raise awareness. Eventually, Caleb's efforts paid off. The UN set up a special commission to investigate human rights abuses in the conflict zones between Israel and Palestine. Caleb participated in the work of this commission as an advisor and shared his findings. The story ends with Caleb's thoughts as he walks the narrow streets of Gaza. He saw this struggle not just as a journalist, but as a defender of humanity. Caleb's story has gone down in history as an example of how the courage and determination of one individual can make a difference in the world.